so hopefully this is just a fun little video it's just going to be covering a few of my unpopular opinions i guess the first unpopular opinion is that i love bukowski i love jack kerouac i love reading how and i love infinite jest according to the literary sisters out there that means i'm not a woman i'm a man okay look at that terrible transition oh what's that infinite jest three times unpopular opinion i won't make it as a booktuber because i don't read a lot of ya it's just not my jam unpopular opinion as a black woman i read an awful lot of classics but i think that has more to do with my upbringing and I just like the writing style. Unpopular opinion, a lot of the characters in the books that I'm writing happen to be people of colour. Yes, that's right. People of colour. Unpopular opinion, I don't like NaNoWriMo. I just don't like it. There is obviously a reason for that. I've never really been one for systematic testing or anything. My brain is just far too creative and far too wild and I need control. So NaNoWriMo is about controlling how many words you can get written in a month. That stifles my creativity. A lot. Unpopular opinion, besides the fridge humming in the background, I really like Jonathan Franzen's works. Him as a person? Hmm, I'm sure we'd probably get along. Unpopular opinion. I can't work on just one project at a time. I've never been able to. Like I said, my creativity is just too much and too wild. Unpopular opinion. I prefer dogs over cats. <laughs> the very last unpopular opinion I don't care if I'm not woman enough because I don't read a lot of women, or at least particular kinds anyway. I always thought that Jane Austen was a bit overrated. We're back where we started. Also, this is what's known as received pronunciation. I had to learn this as a child as part of my elocution and acting classes. But that still doesn't denote the fact that I'm still very British and obviously a lit bro i'm a lit bro oh my god i complain about them all the time but i'm one of them